Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> well, this is just a quick follow-up from my last video. I uninstalled all the script mods and only left the crossplay mods, which includes the multi-fruit buying station. And I reran the test. I put 8,000 liters of olives in the trailer, just like we had the last time. Now look how my tractor performs. I'm already up to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 miles an hour. This tractor wouldn't even reach 4 miles an hour the last time. And I'm up to maximum speed of 24 with no problems whatsoever. Now let's take a look at the, the semi all right, with a tanker on it. I filled it with 32,000 liters of milk. I couldn't even get this to move when empty when the mod, other mods were installed, let alone be able to get it to the buying station to be able to buy the milk. The rig just wouldn't move. As you can see, we're moving now. Let's take it out on the highway where we have a little bit better traction. We're up to 22 miles an hour, 24. Again, like I said, it wouldn't even move out of the yard the last time with an empty trailer. Now I'm up to 33 miles per hour and climbing. So, obviously, oop, I hit something or I turned too quickly, but never mind. Obviously, one of the mods was causing something in the game to break. As I said in my previous video, this isn't the first time, it's happened with other script mods too. So, obviously, script mods are breaking the game something needs to be done about it and people need to stop pointing fingers either the problem lies with giants or the problem lies with the modders however at the end of the day I say the problem lies with giants and their quality control these issues should be caught before a script mod is released. And if script mods are going to damage the game, they should not be released. That's just my two cents. And like I said in my previous video, I am now only going to release crossplay compatible mod reviews until the problem gets resolved. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.